Yeah, a college campus like UConn, usually really busy with students walking to and from campus on a Monday, some out here enjoying the sun today. But it was a lot quieter as the university tried to recover from that electrical issue of which since has been restored, but they canceled all classes because of it. So regular Monday, uh, there is like a lunch rush and, you know, people come in, they order whatever, but it's usually not in like volumes where you have a line standing out the door. A busy Monday at Dog Lane Cafe right off the University of Connecticut campus. Not the typical rush employee Joe Sanford sees, many coming here for a meal and electricity. I actually didn't realize we were the only restaurant on campus open today, uh, which makes it a little worse, but we like the business. All in-person and virtual classes were canceled Monday because of a problem involving an underground high voltage line meaning no power. Afternoon classes were still set to happen, but the university said the repairs lengthier and more complex than a typical outage and then called off the rest, an outage interrupting many students' schedules. So I plan as I plan my day out and I'll have to look at my calendar and see how I can reschedule everything. Many academic and residential buildings were impacted, something students took note of as soon as they opened their eyes. I noticed that the power was out, my phone wasn't charging, uh, I had to go use the bathroom and all the lights were out. This is the first week back from spring break, an extra day to relax for the students and non-essential staff members, but many were ready to get back into the classroom. So it kind of cut us, like cut our time off of the project we're working in that class. So we kind of like need to be outside of the class and kind of work on it before it's due, which is next week. The university says that no one has been injured due to this electrical issue. As for classes tomorrow, they are on, and the university says that repair work continues on that damaged electrical infrastructure. Live in stores, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.